Well, welcome back, everybody. It's me, GSD, back again with some more Y2K. Grumpily. Not grumpily. I feel a little better today. Feel a little better. We'll see how this goes. I got the, the fire thing. So we should be able to do a couple things. I gotta get you your appendices. Appendages. Anyway, let's continue going through the dungeon. I, I gotta remember which way I went. I don't think I went down here. No, I didn't. Okay, so we can start our trip here. Bam. It's so bright. Excuse me? Hold on. Wait. What? Oh, wait. Oh! I see what you... I see what you got going on here. <sighs> Come on, y'all. What about... Can't go through... What about... Oh. Oh. No. Do I have to turn off all lights? This is so weird now because... Okay, so... Oh my god. Well, we gotta find switches, so let's go and just find... Figure out if we can hit a bunch of switches or something. There we go. Hit that. That's good. Turn that out. Go back. Now we can just go this way. Ew. Wait, who's in the dark? Alright, what is this shit? Jeffrey? There are many important items obscured by the darkness. However, the darkness can be your friend. In shadow, you can pass through matter as if it were nothing but vapor. Be wary of turning out the lights, though. There are many monsters who also travel by way of shadow. Well, thanks, bro. I already figured out both of that. Get out of here. Run into a damn battle. You oh, be careful of the dork. And then you're like, oh, the walls go away. Hey, I could have used that information when I first got here. Okay. So there's stuff over there, but what about over here? Go straight over. Nothing. Go straight down. Woo! Don't be a goddamn mimic. All right, fur line coat and stuff. What is around here? Nothing. Yeah, I figured. Hit that out. Wait, hit hit it out. Okay. Scared me there for a second. Wait. Whoa! Uh, how do I do this? Please, somebody! Oh God! This just goes over here. Okay, I kind of understand what I need to do. If I go here, I'm in this area. Turn the light on. Fuck! Wait. Ah, don't be a mimic. Nice. Platinum bracelet. Platinum plus, y'all. So, for me to get in there... Wait. I could have gotten in there before. Wait, no, I couldn't. Uh... Down? Damn it. Need to get those treasures. Can't go down there. I can't go here. So, oh, there we go. There's that. Turn that out. Go down. I should be able to. Okay, so now I do this. Ooh! Dungeon key, y'all. I guess you, it would be there. So go up here. Hit that up. Alright, did it. The hell do you get over there? Hold on. Maybe here? Ooh! Don't you dare! Nice. Nice. That's always good. So, for me to get through there, I need to... Let's uh, try it approaching from this side here. I need to come in from the middle there. How did I get there in the first place? 
here. Hey, uh, what? Maybe. No, I guess I do have to go through there first, unless I can get around here somehow and try and do it. No. How the hell did I get in the middle there in the first place? Excuse me? Whatever. Whatever. Let's keep going. Let's... We'll figure it out soon enough. I guess I gotta go up the stairs or something. Burn it down. Burn it down! And, uh... Cat it up. I still don't have all of her body parts. There has to be something in here for me to do. To get that. Maybe I should turn some lights on? Maybe it depends on how many lights I turn on or not. That's not gonna help. That needs to go. Maybe I should just go back down from where I came from over here and try it out. So if I go back through here... Okay, so I went from there to here. So I don't know what I did to circumvent all that bull, but whatever. It worked. Give me that! Medicine. Moolah. Give me that. Sweet tea. Moolah. No mimic. Nine volt. Moolah. Wait, what? I can't light it through the fence, though. Even brighter. So why would it darken it? with more hands lit. See what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Turn that off. Turn that on. Oh, it's bright. Oh, wait, no. I don't know if this is uh, the right thing that uh, was supposed to be done. Turn that off. See? Turn that off. Turn these on. It don't matter. Unless it's asking me to go this way. With the lights on. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Nah. Ain't no point. I got everything down here, so I don't think I need to worry about this anymore. So, I think... So we definitely did this, right? Yeah, definitely. There is another room over there, though. How... how get? You can see it on the horizon. Unless it's this. Am I seeing that in the background? I'm just seeing that. It's the other door. Okay. So we gotta go... Straight up? We did this one. This is the frustrating room. Leads to the frustrating room. Okay, so. Last one is the dungeon door. Do I have everything that you need to get out of here? What will you do? Give right leg. You brought me a limb! That's... That's... That's the sweetest thing a boy has ever done for me. But I'm still incomplete. I will not be satisfied until I can walk and lift and pull things around me. Please, leave me to my suffering. I'm gonna give you that right leg, that left leg. Thanks. Please stop torturing me with this incomplete body. How big is this dungeon where, where, uh, use the dungeon key? I probably should save, no? Yeah, I should probably save. Beep. I'll be back. Did I not do this? Hold up. Keep boo. 
I did not do this. Okay, we got some new new. Hit that up. Ah! Jesus Christ! That was genuine, y'all. What the f- Turn out the light. Hey. Hey. Yeah, oh my god. You can see it right there. And I'm probably down there. What are you doing to me? Why? Why would you kill me? Uh, excuse me? Alex spotted something. Severed arm. I mean, I'll take that. Can you give me the other one, please? Nothing here. Uh, there's like a baby inside my stomach, though. This f Just turn out the light. You stay where you are. I got one more arm. I'm gonna go and save. Cause I don't know where else to go. Where else to get the other limb? I'm gonna save. Here. <sighs> Even Star Fox for the Super Nintendo had rendered 3D rendered graphics. Come on, y'all. Great, another one of these. Even freakier than the last. I don't know if I want to go in there. But uh, let's take a look. What am I supposed to do? There's an enemy up there, and... Uh, okay. I can drop off? No. Hit it. Is he going to try and blow me off or something? There's nothing else around here, right? Okay. Hit that up. Oh my god. How about... Can I, uh... Let's see here. How do we do this? Shit it! Okay, I guess not. Let's, uh, see if we can... Figure this out a little more. Probably have to get all the wind blowing in, to an extent. So that comes here. That. No, just bring it back. Let's take the first one and see what's going on with this foolishness. Hit that. We move on over. We... I guess hit this. Okay. Oh, so now it's not gonna blow across. So we hit. Hit. <laughs> That one's not going though. And we can uh, go across here. Stop! Take me up! And I don't know. I'm just gonna follow these for now and see what they do. Takes me here. I, I, I don't know if I'm down with this. That's gonna blow me across to the other one. Okay, and so I hit this, it's gonna blow me over this way. That's cool. I hit that, that's gonna go where? Nowhere. So if I go back here, I go down, I go across, and I hit you up, and I go straight on up to the treasure. Stop. B. Give me this. Smelling cells. I'll fight you. I was just a little nut because I've been like reading some things that other people have thought about the game to see if I'm crazy. Am I crazy for disliking certain aspects of the game? No, I'm not. But it's uh, something I saw people always saying, "Oh, it's from the '90s. From the '90s, you gotta. It's retro." No. Chrono Trigger was out in the 90s, PlayStation, N64, those were all in the 90s. Final Fantasy VII came out in the 90s. So we can go up here. I'll fight you. Take my aggression out on you. The Essentia... Oh, this is so... This is another thing that's been getting on my nerves. 
You charge her, and then you finish the fight, and then she's down to 1 HP because she didn't finish charging. Why is her health going from zero to hero when you charge her? Shouldn't it go from the state that she's at to where it should be? After how many turns? Now I gotta use these batteries. She can't use cheddar cheese or anything like that. She gotta take batteries. Have some batteries. You have some fettuccine Alfredo. And while I'm at it, get some birch beer or something in there. Wherever the hell it is. And there's a long list. Uh, items. I think this would be good, actually. Alright. Hit this up. <laughs> and take me to wherever I need to go. Alright. So if I hit this now. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not. Boy! Get back down here. If I go across, it's going to go up again. That's not what I wanted. I want to go down, but I want to go across again. So how do I... Where's the thing to switch this one? Probably across here. Nope. There's one. Hit it. Is it not actually doing anything? Get me off. Take me back. No, it didn't ch It didn't turn off anything! What's going on? I hit this, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, maybe I didn't. Wait, is it just the one that didn't change? So hit this. Oh Christ, I gotta find where the actual one is. Ooh. Let's uh, see what we can do here. No, 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 come back! Okay, hit that while I'm on it. Oh, I just can't go through. So this is not the one I need to be at. It needs... <laughs> no, you bastard! Just take me down. I might as well... Did that take health, actually? That might be a good shortcut for me to get. Yes! I don't have to go through all that bull. That rigmarole. Okay, so we gotta, like, mess around with some switches here or something, because we messed something up. So this is gonna push me over here. If I hit this, there's that one. That should push me over to the other side now. So, push this. And then hit it again. And now we can hit this. Stop your mouth from going. That's dumb, that I have to do it twice for it to work. Alright, go. Oh my god, finally! Okay, so now we can go across here. And now we can go across here and do whatever we need to do. I think it's just another appendage. It has to be another appendage, right? It's bringing me to here. Hit that up. Platinum bracelet and money. Okay. Huh. Huh, yeah. Brings me over here. We can go back now. And we just need to go ahead? No, we don't go ahead because it's just gonna bring us back. We have to actually go. We have to go ahead. Hit that. Got up here, hit that. That's fine. 
Now that's going up. That's blah blah blah. That's whatever. And then we go back again. And then we go over here. So we can go up and hit this. I don't care. That's not the right one, apparently. So the right one's probably over here that we have to go all the way through and do this again. So that... This should be the up one. Yeah. And now we go all the way back again. And... We go across and down, and then we go across and up. And we're out of this foolishness. Spend one fifth of the dang game inside here. Okay, we got some new new. Some new story elements. What's in the glass? What is that? Oh, it's just another robot, right? Hello? Hello? Nyla El Amin. Why is it that some have voice acting and some don't? One thing you'll need to understand about the souls inside of the soul space is that our timelines do not match up. We are not born the same year. We do not obviously die at the same time. As Nyla El Amin, I was a mother of three, a very intelligent scientist living in Sweden. My children, whose names I will not reveal to you for various reasons, lived with their father. Is that the father? Or is that you in the bar? I love their father very much, but he was a very impatient man. Violent at times, but never with the children or me. He took his anger out on the men who worked for him, and they feared him. I was very lonely. I met a man whom I loved very much. I gave myself to him in every way possible. I forgot about my children, my husband, my life back home. When I was with him, I forgot my name. I forgot my purpose. This relationship lasted six weeks, and then he vanished. Gone. I returned home, prepared to tell my husband everything, but he wasn't there. My children were gone, too. I felt myself becoming increasingly ill, and I deteriorated over the next days. Finally, I saw a doctor and was informed I had a terminal illness. Then I began to develop my android self, the Essentia 2000. Well... Can't say you're the greatest person. Alright. Alright, 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 what we got in there? We got a uh, take- Oh, it's the arm! Severed left arm. Do we just keep going through? No. We just go through here? It's resisting. Oh, Jesus! Okay, so we can go down and then we just go back. Got the arm, she can leave. I can leave? I can leave. We can leave! Wait! Oh wait, no, I have the other arm. I'm an idiot. Give the right arm. That's my arm. Thank you, but this isn't enough. Please stop torturing me with an incomplete body. Hey, I've been trying my best in here. It's been... I don't know how long. A couple hours. Hey, before I do that, let me go and save. Because I don't know what you're gonna spring on me. I have to heal? How am I doing for... I'm alright, I just need to get the Essentia healed up. So we're gonna save here. Save here. Yep. Also, somebody gave me a hot tip. I should go and buy some dang batteries because apparently I can only get them in here. So let's go back here. You'd think you could get the batteries from like, maybe, you know, the toy store. Or any store, really? Yeah, yeah, I hear you laughing and cackling and whatever. Moving your shit. Wait, 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 wait. 
Oh no, I did that. Okay. I thought I didn't do that for a second. I don't know why I didn't do that. Some... Follow the footsteps of the dead. Yeah, whatever. Give me some batteries. I need to get you some good stuff, cause... Let's see, two in... How much is this? Five hundred dollars. Oh my god, kill me. Uh, I'll take some of these. This is like the best bet. More bang for my buck. You know what I mean? I'll spend that much on... 10 batteries, whereas... Three batteries would have, three nine volts would have been wasted. This is the better deal for me. Yeah, get me out of here. I'm upset with myself for spending that much money on batteries. I know, I don't need to save. I can just keep going. Uh, also, we should probably actually heal you up. Just in case there's a boss fight coming. Triple A battery. I'm okay with that. Take the triple A. I think I can survive the rest of the game with 12, 10 ish batteries. Here, have the next arm. And then her charge ability. Give her the left arm. How did you know? Yes, 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 yes! Whoa. Oh, you're blocking the actual door. When do you were born anew? Probably. Alright. Oh, and. So I wouldn't be able to go back through some of the dungeon then, because the door up there. Hey y'all, uh, what's going on? Yeah, this is a lovely place you got here. Give me this. Medicine, y'all. Give me a save spot. You dang well know, you gotta save. Every chance they give you, because some foolishness is gonna happen. Save right here, yeah. Talk to you again soon, whatever. How's my XP7? Should be okay. It shouldn't get capped. Hey, buddy. What's, uh, what's, uh, happening here? Bring the victims to the gallow. Be a man. I mean, don't tell me what to do. I'll do what I want to do. I'm gonna burn this. Burn it. You're not burning. I guess you can't burn. Alright, we're gonna bring some victims to the gallow. Hey. You. A vessel for human suffering, probably. How do I, uh, get y'all up here? Suffering, suffering. I can't pick you up. Suffering. Victims to the gallow. Uh, all their head is gone, so it's probably me, I assume, so how about we do this? Just chop my damn head off and put me out of this misery. No? <sighs> what? Who? How? You have nothing in your head. Do I have anything to do here? No? No. With my hair? No. 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 Panda? No way! It's not Panda. It can't be Panda. Okay, good. Don't kill Panda. Can I just kill you? You're telling me to bring the victim- Hint! Can I have a hint? That's not much of a hit. Uh, help me, please. Frig, man. Why didn't I do it before? Why is this one not... This game. Hit that. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so... What's in here? It's just an eye. It's just a mouth. This looks like a person I- oh, I guess you're not a person I should be bringing. Ear. Some people. Hey, can you come? I have no interest in going with you. Okay. Why on earth would I? What about you? Maybe old, but 
but I'm not ready to leave this place. Perhaps my daughter would. Good luck getting her to speak with you. Is that your daughter right here? You're not speaking. And that's probably toxin. I'm not walking through that. Oh, God damn it! You're in the toxin? Get me out of here. Okay. You? Ever since my nephew died, my sister stopped seeing her husband. It's a shame. They had such a bright future. Together, they could have created the next iteration. Will somebody come here and get your head chapped off? Just a little off the top. I refuse. I may be forgotten by all who once knew me, but I'm not going in that way. Don't you mimic me. Nice. Don't you mimic me! Nice. And... You must be the person to come with. Ah! No! Ugh! I can't do it any longer! Okay. Strawberry banana smoothie. Just come with me, please. I just pick you up. Ain't nobody here wants to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. So I guess I gotta get out of here. This is not y'alls. Maybe it's a, a different portion on the other side. Hit a different switch, you know what I mean? So I hit that switch. Let's get panned out here. Panda, and hit that. So maybe somebody in here has some insight on getting their head chop chop. Uh, block treasure, tre treasure, treasure, chest. You wanna come? No. Nope. And now. Alright, how about we get the fire out? Fire, fire. Fire. And fire. And take this one off. And do this one. And then... And get this over here. While I'm at it. Argonaut Kitar. Cool. Give that to Vela. Turn that off. Turn that off. Doors down. Hey y'all, how about some of y'all come and visit me? So one was all females, and this is all males. Hey, you wanna come and get your head chopped? If I don't have a head, my neck will be too cold. Screw off. Hmm. Personally, I'd say I'd stay away from the man in the mask. Jeremy may be interested. Jeremy. Jeremy? Jeremy. You may consider asking Jeremy. He just hasn't been the same since it happened. Good luck getting to him getting him to open up to you. Jeremy? No way, man. Why is that name so unfamiliar? Did I not meet Jeremy before? Me? No way. I like my head the way it is. I'm good here, thanks. No need to take me to the callows. Check my brother. He may be interested ever since the accident. Jeremy. Jeremy. Bernadan. Are you Jeremy? Laughing man. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> I'll go with you. Just carry me, will you? <laughs> hey, yeah. Ugh. Blah. I got ourselves a nice little half person. Yeesh. Hey, man. I don't, even find, I don't even care. I don't even care. Just die. Get it over with. Commit this soul to death? Yeah. Sorry, man. You, oh. Give me that. I'll put you right there. Do I need to explain every little detail? Put the head into the correct head casket. Basket. Heh. 
Uh, do I have to do three peeps? Are you, Jeremy, the correct head casket? I just... No. Okay. Uh, where the hell... So I gotta get two more? Bring the... Bring the be a man. What? So there is somebody in here that should be coming with me. I'm an idiot. Okay. Hello. Uh, what? Is this a kid? Alex bought something. Baby doll? Okay. Wait. Do I give this to you? Maybe I'll just kill the doll? No, I gotta give it to somebody, right? Oh! Is there even a point in going on? Take me to the place beyond this one, please. I wanna be with you. Let's go! Kinda see their feet, right? I guess it's... easier to do this than render a half body. It's probably easier to render a full body rather than, you know, half a body. Or maybe you're just dirty from staying in the mud so much. Here. Duh. Do it! Yeah, just get it over with. Give me the dang head. That's not what I wanted. Give me the dang head. Thank you. And, uh... Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. Now I just need to find the last one. Can it just be me? Put me out of my misery. Guess you better step up. Thank you. Oh, please release me from this BS. Commit this old death. Yeah. Get me out of here. Thank God. Is the game over now? Oh. Uh, I guess not. I guess I'm just moving my own shh. Me. Can I have my head back at least? Okay. Maybe I should save this. Hey, buddy. Your work is complete. I never pegged you for a killer. Well, the Essentia Dungeon 2000... The Essentia 2000 Dungeon makes a person do crazy things, now don't it? Save that. Yup. Been... Done. Alright. Where do we go now? Huh? Oh, my head's back. Okay. I'm not even dealing with this. Get me out of here. Hey. Oh. What? Alright. I have to fight him because uh, I need the XP. Oh, you can go over 1,000. Alright. It ended at 999 before. I didn't realize it would do that. I'm going to the mine dungeon. I gotta... I gotta. Did you oh, find great. out the question, Alex? No. You're such a disappointment. Boy, can you do any damn thing right! Get out! Get out of my face! I hate you! I hate you so much! Just go away! Get out! Who are you to vex me with your perpetual idiocracy? Don't you dare run unless you find the question! Silly, pathetic, worthless piece of filth. Yeah. To me, IRL, pretty much. Floor 35! Let me finish up my stats here. 
Is it pointing to where I need to go? Oh. Ooh, that's gross. I gotta get that, I guess. White out. If I go in the cage, it probably takes me back. This is like boss level shit now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Batteries. Nah. We have a lot of smelling salts, that's for dang sure. Maybe you should get a defib. You get two defibs. Some sweet tea. Ten sweet tea. Yeah. Thanks. Get me out of here. Pick you up and leave. And brush. Danger lies ahead. Make sure you're ready before proceed. I'm ready. It's like a Gundam over there. Hello? This is not a Pat light labor. I can recall. These machines, they're so familiar. And yet, something feels wrong. Is it safe to approach him? I cannot say. I would never harm you, Alex. But it is logical to assume that one of my many parallel lives may have some reason. I knew you'd come back. Somehow, you look different. So many lives wasted, taken, and experimented on in hopes of obtaining this moment. And now, that I'm looking at you, I don't know if I should love you, or hate you. To kill you, in the way that you killed me time and time again, has been my only dream, my only waking thought for the past 50 lifetimes. What's he talking about? Do you ever feel guilty? Do you? What did I do? What's wrong with you, man? Everything was taken because of you! You bastard! I lost everything. My research. My wife. My kids. And all for what? For you! What the hell were you worth? You're a thief! Nothing more! I regret ever laying my eyes on you! Alex, I can't recall this life. For some reason, it's blocked to me. Why does she look like she's laughing, though? There is a void in my mind. There are white spots where I should see this life on the astral plane. Mom. Mom, is that you? How long has this life been lingering here? Alex, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to say such terrible things. Come here. Let me hug you. Let me say I'm sorry in your ear. Ew, no. What? Get away from me! It seems as if you harmed him in some way. Alex, look out! Ooh! Some good-ass boss music. <laughs> Defend. Defended? Nice. I'm stunned? Get him, Asensia! You can do it! Ah, oh, we almost did it! <laughs> nice damage, Asensia! Why are you... Okay, you didn't heal that much. This is a good uh, song. Shit, that's still good. 
Hit him with that 41. Hey, wait, why, where did all the damage go? Hit him up a Cynthia. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> Nice dodge, Alex. Nice not dodging, but it's okay. EP strike. Let's see if I can do this. I have to get it on that red piece right there. I see. Shit! I had no slow mode to go for. Hit him up a cinch you. Need that good 10 hit combo. That's okay. Good hit. <laughs> Sweet. Stunned again. <laughs> Stop hitting me! Stop stunning Alex! Oh my god. I'm over this now. Give him a cheeseburger. What? Oh no! What? Good thing I took the cheeseburger. Let me try the EP strike again. Nice! That's a good ass hit. Let's give him another. Give him that 10 piece. Almost. That was also a good hit. This isn't the end. Oh, okay. Once again, you underestimate me! Man, the, whoever is doing the crow voice for all these characters is doing a good job. That wasn't even my final form! Okay. Whoa. But I'm all out of goddamn... It's a good, quick defense. What are you? Yuzu. Level 24. I gotta... I gotta stock up. Give me some PP refilling. Got a holy water birch beer. I don't know if I want a birch beer. I want something a little... Strawberry banana shake. You gotta block this. Good. Alex, just finish up the jab. Ooh. No, no, no! Essentially, finish up the jab. Okay, I got that 10 piece. Oh! You're dead. Oh, great, the, the 10 XP, y'all. Alex? Why? Because you attacked me, you fool. I am sorry I put you in harm's way. However, while I am with you, nothing bad can ever happen. I am here to protect you. I think I need you to answer some more questions. I'm really confused. Why did this Japanese guy know me? Why did he attack me? What did I ever do to him? I can only deduce an answer based on the information I have. This information is the same information that you have. So, these are simply educated guesses based on my own personal bias. <sighs> okay, fine. What do you think it is? I think it would be a safe assumption that, in a parallel life, you have harmed me. That this Yuzu Imajo had some sort of relationship with you, and you hurt him in some way. When he saw you, he recognized something in your soul and became angry. This is why he attacked. I harmed him in a parallel life? I, I harmed you? We are not responsible for the actions of our parallel selves. 
But that does not mean we can't feel sorry for the crimes committed against other souls. There are times where someone expresses how they have been harmed, and as humans, our immediate reaction is to become defensive. In our defense, so that we do not harm others, we become offensive. It is in these moments where we decide what type of human we will be. Which is worse? To harm someone in the past and continue to harm them by justifying your past actions? Or harming someone in the past and accepting that your choices hurt them? Yes, you might feel harmed in the process by admitting your mistakes. But this is a good type of pain. Pain that heals you into a better person is always better than avoiding the small pain of accepting you are wrong. Did I really do that? Did I always deny I harmed someone? Do I always feel the need to justify my actions? Maybe. Yes. I totally did. We must always work to be better. The better person is not the person who doesn't make mistakes, but the person who makes a mistake and works to fix it, and fix the part of themselves that led to that error. There are moments when I understand intellectually how I must act, but then something happens. Somewhere in the recesses of my mind, like a warm light in the distance, an idea forms, a completely human, flawed and kind-intentioned idea, something that all versions of me know to be a mistake. However, the overwhelming feeling of doing the right thing takes over, and I am forced to make a choice. And every time, this version of me chooses the kind path. I cannot allow any harm to come to you. Without you, I wouldn't know what to do anymore. So just remember, it's not important, Alex, to worry about what we accomplish. Somewhere out there, we have both accomplished and failed at all tasks. Take solace in this. There exist perfect versions of us who didn't fail or harm others. Just keep working as hard as you can, and you'll be able to be that perfect version of yourself. So, should I feel guilty that I harmed him in a parallel life? That question is irrelevant. Just acknowledge that the part of you that harmed him exists in all humans, and then work to polish the blemish on your soul that had led to that action. Wait! I have one more question. What is it, Alex? Did... Did I harm any of the other women we met? The ones who were also you? Oda, Nyla, Serna, Bella? The Essentia 2000 went on staring at me with that expressionless face of hers. A face of plastic. Looking at her, I thought of a satellite floating in space. A drifting piece of man-made material, traveling through a place man can barely go. What I had said was out of pure curiosity. I had no way of knowing with any certainty that I had harmed any of these women. My words, though, seemed to have jammed at something in there. I could read the effect on her face, eventually, without a word. The Ascension 2000 turned away and proceeded from the room. It's very interesting to me that you ask this. I'm going to choose to not answer this question as of now. There is one last location I'd like to show you, and it's quite a distance. Oh my god, are you serious? I'll answer more questions when we arrive. I long to wash away the bitter taste in my mouth, but even sipping from a water bottle wouldn't cleanse me of it. The whole situation felt like a dream, as if I was wading through pools of jello. Even then, I kept telling myself that the things around me weren't that weird. But seeing Sammy vanish, meeting entities, and entering inside a dungeon in my mind should have prepared me for this. But you know, I don't think it did. I wanted to ask the Ascension 2000 if I could feel the feelings of my parallel lives. I realize now I was just seeking an explanation for the various feelings that were surging through my heart. I felt closer to Vela, closer to, well... Every single parallel life of the Ascension 2000. And yet, furthest from Sammy. Was Sammy really all that important to me? Or had I just been delaying joining the real world with all this adventure? 
Did I really ever want to find her now that I know what finding her actually meant? No, I did. I really did. And I don't regret what I learned. Or even what happened next, because if I had never learned what I was about to learn, I could have never met you. And without you, all hope is lost. You talking to me? The player? Where are we off to now? Please don't take me back to that dungeon. Oh, thank- How do we get Wait, back here? What? What's going on with the wall? Those stairs were the exit to my mind dungeon. Now we have returned to the foyer. In order to proceed, we must first return to the beginning. Allow me to open your mind. To grant you access to the Hall of Parallel Lives. Huh? Is this the hall? This is not the hall. So it's this one. Oh crap, I should have saved. For now, I will ask you not to enter any of the rooms on our left or right. Inside are the various parallel lives that your soul is currently engaged in. I believe it would be traumatic for you to experience them at this point in your life. Our destination is at the far end of this hall. That room is the one used to chronicle the past and future of this house. The one I am speaking to now. My favorite. Don't tell me what to do, I'm gonna go- Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Well, I tried. It's not gonna let me. Get me a little game over if I try and go inside one of these dang rooms. Nope. Nope. I'm a rebel. I do what I want. But you're not letting me do what I want, which is enter one of these doors. Not happening. What a busted ass mind dungeon is this anyway? Uh, ain't no secrets back here. Get me inside there, please. Where? Where am I? The other rooms had you in them. Why aren't I here? You are, and you are speaking. What I'm about to show you is something that lies at the heart of all of yourselves. Please. Prepare yourself for a harsh amount of bitter truth. What you are about to see cannot be unseen. Should I... be worried? No. Not if you took to heart what I have taught you. What do you mean? What have you taught me? To recognize your flaws and work to correct them. Are you in trouble, Alex? <laughs> if you gotta ask that, you're in trouble. I'm about to show you your greatest flaw of all. Destruction! Oh boy. I like destruction. So, there's a bunch of- is that? My arm and her arm on the- the thing? That- that looks like me over there. Fly- flaring up. An inexplicable- inexplicable rendering stands before you. You do not yet have the knowledge to comprehend its implications. Uh, hey. Figure of light. It was a normal day, just like any other. Then the sky lit up and we were overcome by a bright aura. My soul left my body as my body disappeared. Where am I now? There's another one. And another one. I was caught off guard when the end came. It was like a thief in the night. That's what my mom would say, but she's gone too. Gone away just like my body and sun and the moon and the stars. And another one. Don't fill up this whole room. I just want to talk to at least just maximum four. When you came for us, it was as if we had come for ourselves. Our tab was being collected on and we all realized we deserved this. Perhaps you didn't. You were just like the rest of us. Only you took the blame. Oh uh, no. How many of you are there in here? 
It's a curious thing, losing your body in universe. We don't have a good way of describing reality, so we show it as the Earth, since that's all people ever know. I'm sorry it came down to this. You tried your best. I would do it too. In fact, maybe I did. She said we must defeat ourselves in order to tame the destruction, but maybe she never understood us at all. I can comprehend now. Looks so sinister up on that thing. Whoa. I don't understand. How is this my flaw? In a way, it is everyone's flaw. Destruction. To be destruction or to be creation. It can only be one in the end. But what will I destroy? This reality. As you have destroyed many realities before this one. How could I destroy reality? What powers do I have that could lead to this type of devastation? Inaction is just as much an act of aggression as taking up arms. And... will this happen? How will I do this? I do not know. But what's important is that it hasn't happened yet, and... Wait... You're saying... we can still stop this? No. Your reality was doomed long ago. All realities cease to exist. The only thing you get to decide is if you aid in the destruction or fight against it. But it's still gonna be destruction. It's done anyway. Against it? I might as well just chill. But you said it was doomed! None of this makes any sense! This reality will fade away, and another will take its place. But this does not mean that you can't prevent the loss of future realities. How would I do that if we all die? Come with me. Escape into the soul space. We can take your friends with us. Together, we will protect realities from the ultimate loss. Loss of souls who perish with worldly attachments in their hearts. When a soul is bound to the planet by thoughts and obsessions of worldly things, they die with the reality. But a soul that is free of love for the physical, and longs only for the spiritual, can find life in the soul space. I want to save this reality. What about my mother? My friends? I, I couldn't just convince them to enter the soul space. I don't even think I could convince my mother that there is a soul space. What do you want to do, Alex? Whatever you decide, I am with you every step of the way. But wait, why is this... Why is this my choice? Because this is your reality, not mine. I just want you to be happy. Essentia, how do you know me? Why do you care so much about me? Because you have been in all of my lives. And at every turn, I have been there for you, even when you have harmed me. I have always loved you. I would fight a losing battle for you. <sighs> what do I even say to that? As Sammy, you helped me when no one else wanted to help me. As Vela, you gave me back my music, the only thing I ever expected to love. Wait! You're saying I'm the asshole that used Vela and- Ugh. <sighs> Alex, regardless of how much you have harmed me in any of my parallel lives, I am always here for you. I want to help you be the best that you can be. Can't you help me be the me that saves this reality? From whatever the hell all these things are falling from the sky? It is impossible. But if you would like to try, we may try. But how do you know it's impossible? I can feel the reality breaking apart. I can feel souls fleeing in every direction. This world will soon end. But there has to be something we can do. Some way to be strong enough to take down whatever is going to destroy this reality. Even I am not strong enough to face what's coming for this reality. But what about me? Vela, 
You! And the others! It pleases me that you want to fight for something. I know this isn't your usual way. It thrills me to see this passion in you. Together, we can attempt to fight this ender of realities. Just know, we will fail, but we will fail together. <laughs> Don't be such a downer! If I'm going to die, I at least want to go down swinging. What other choice yeah. do I have? I understand now that in your heart, there is no other choice. Perhaps you, Alex, are different from the others. I will stay and fight with you. But if we are going to do this, we must convince your friends to help us, and we must train. Even I am not at my most powerful. We must complete the mind dungeon before the end comes, and be prepared to fight it. How do we convince them that the world is gonna end? By convincing them that this reality will soon perish, and by making them understand that this world is just a byproduct of that destruction. Okay, so what's this great destruction that will be obliterating reality? It's the same destruction that destroys all realities. And yet, I can't give it a name. But when you see it, you will recognize it. I think I want to go home now. Everyone's probably wondering where I went. Yes, we've been gone quite a while. Really? How long? Five days. Three what? hours. And two minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> Wait, what? Everyone's probably freaking out! Let's, let's get out of here! The Y2K problem. I got a few problems with Y2K right now, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I think you know what I'm saying. Uh, um, did this game just freeze on me? For real, for real though? I I do have a I have a couple problems right now. I, I'm I have a big problem right now. I have a big problem right now. Oh my god. Are you serious? Why is it I see I Against my better judgment, I didn't save in the mine dungeon. I should have saved. I gave the game too much credit. Save. God. Yes. Really? Okay. Y2K problem. Can I get out of here? Is it bugging again? It's bugging again. I can't get out. Excuse me? What? <sighs> this game just likes to treat me badly. I, I feel actually upset about this game. It had so much potential. It's not living up to its full potential. There's so many flaws with this game, but there's also good things, but I don't know. Sometimes the all these bad things are outweighing the good things in this game. Now I don't know. <laughs> this game gets me so angry, y'all. I don't know if I want to play with this anymore because it's not fun to me anymore. If it's not fun to me anymore, then there's no point in me playing it. Thank you for everybody that joined me on this. But I'm a little upset, I'm a little disheartened that I waited all these years for this game for it to turn out this way. There's some good stuff here, it's just not enough here to keep me going. And I probably should have put this down a while ago and saved myself some frustration. But, I know there's different strokes for different folks. If you enjoy the game, that's all on you. There is... It's fun aspects, there's great voice acting, there's great music, but there's too many bugs. The story... <laughs> I don't know, but I just want to move on and play something else. I hope you understand. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for everybody that had joined me on this playthrough. And I'll see you all in the next game.